So this, uh, this I'll show you how it's designed. Hi, if you uh, recall my last video on the uh, portable board jack, which is uh, this unit here, I call, call it a portable board jack because it actually attaches to the bottom of the surface of the, uh, the workbench on the on the edge, so it's flush with the uh, with the edge, and I'll show that in a few in, a, in the next few inches. But you can actually re refer back to that uh, portable uh, plug-in board jack video which was posted a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> so that actually plugs in, plugs into the, uh, just underneath. And it's attached with some uh, low, low profile bolts. So this uh, is actually, as you can see in the images, it works really well, it's flush and it's very non-obtrusive. Non and it's removable and the, uh, the two bosses lock into uh, the bench dog holes on your workbench so you'd have to customize this part of it and the rest is just a big block with some holes in it and it's, uh, it's customized to a specific workbench in this case I have two similar workbenches so I can have a portable between the workbenches but since then I did I did uh, label this as a portable plug-in it is plug-in but because it attaches with some hardware I wanted to uh, up the uh, up the design a little bit and make it a true plug, a plug-in uh, board jack. So I come up with this design. This is also a plug-in, but it actually does plug in without any hardware necessary. So you can see the the format's the same with the little random, arbitrary uh, hole spacing for the holes and the bench dogs. Standard three-quarter inch bench dog is a brass one and a wood one, but this actually holds the wood up. As your uh, your edge jointing a board, so the, the one one end would be in the face vise, and the other end at this end. <clears throat> the issue with this is that that it's fixed in place. So you can leave it on your workbench, attached to the workbench, but it's always fixed in one place. Or you, you'd have to un unbolt it to move it around. But this one actually slides across, and it plugs in. It's a little uh, lighter, but it performs just as well. And, uh, this is an example of it here. Uh, let me see, looking for a bench dock. I thought I had one here. Uh, there's a bench dock right here. So this plugs in, and you can use any 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 standard bench dock, or you can have something customized like this with a head on it, and that locks in. And, uh, and I'll show images of this, and I'll show a demonstration of this. So this is my uh, my next uh, level of a board jack, the true plug plug-in board jack. Now I've gone even further than that come up with this design. This is a, uh, a board jack, also similar in style, but it has a, uh, the bench dog goes right through and locks in both sides. So again, it's customized to your workbench for this uh, spacing, <clears throat> and this part sits on, on the surface. Now, somebody might say, well, what about the, uh, the leading edge or the, uh, the main component of, of, the, uh, of the board jack? It's actually only 3 16 thick and it's uh, Baltic birch ply. So it, uh, it's almost the thickness of the uh, leather face I have on my, on my face vise. So it really, it's, it's insignificant as an issue, this thickness here, because this thickness comes out from the, uh, from the edge of the workbench. And of course it only works with this style of workbench with the, uh, with the simple top, not anything but a skirt on it. So this, uh, this slides across so you can see I'm sliding it across, and this model has a custom. Uh, you notice the uh, the bench dog itself is much longer because it fits right through the locks in top and bottom, and it's much <coughs> it's a little more rugged and sturdier than this one. But this one does does the job. It's really it works well. It's lighter, and this is a little more sturdy. So this allows you to uh, to use it with uh, both bench dogs and clamps and this type of. Uh, Flattening arrangement. And this removes, and, and this this would allow me to uh, to clamp some uh, some longer boards, and I'll show, I'll give a demonstration of that. So I'm very happy with uh, with how this has all turned out, and uh, I'll be giving a demonstration of it. So it's something you can. Uh, <coughs> I do have plans for this version of my uh, WoodSkills.com website. But I, uh, I haven't really developed plans for these yet, but they're, uh, they're fairly straightforward to make. It's just a lot of uh, measurements to, to ensure that the, uh, the spacing 
this spacing is correct and it fits snugly and the whole spacing is aligned is aligned correctly with your uh, with your bench uh, dog hole so uh, for in both cases I'm very very happy with this design and uh, I'll be using them a lot I mean this this slides unlike this this model this one slides along so I can this one that's joining it along the board, I can just slide it along and, and uh, simply attach it with this peg. I call it a peg. <laughs> I'll be talking about that. I'm going to show and give you a demonstration of it very shortly. So well, this is the, uh, the original portable board jack and as you recall, or if you had a look at the video, it plugs in just below the surface and locks in with these bolts. And I, I leave it at one of my workbenches full time because it's so solid and unobtrusive it's, uh, light, it's flush with the edge of the workbench I don't have a problem with that but you can move it around between workbenches or slide or bring uh, move it across your workbench for longer boards or shorter boards and this serves as a support for the board you can move the uh, the dogs either brass or wood along so there's a whole video on this on this unit but we'll talk about the uh, the most recent design which is actually a plug-in so this uh, <coughs> I'll show you how it's designed so the actual uh, plug goes right through and locks into your workbench I've, I've created a plug for it it's longer now the original one had a shorter uh, you could use a short dock because it only went so far but this newer version locks in both both surfaces. So this will lock into your workbench. And for example, if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, setting up to edge joint a board from here to here, well, let's, let's actually do it here. And I just lock it in. <coughs> and then uh, pick up a board. This dog. You see the arbitrary spacing of the holes is so you can use, uh, you can have different widths of boards. So this, uh, you can see the advantage of uh, having a sliding board jack. Uh, without this, you have no means of, uh, of holding this board up if you're edge joining, if you're hand playing the lawn. The hand playing would just bring the board down at this end, unless you're doing it on the surface, which can get unwieldy if it's a, it's a wide board. <laughs> so this works really well super strong and I've, I've been using it so I, I, for a few days now so uh, again you can use it to clamp boards on their sides too so I'll just remove it and I'll show that functionality <coughs> oops okay this has got to go over one So if I had a board, I'd probably I'll bring this dog out. Now if I were uh, processing the edge of this board, either doing dovetails or just working the edge with a block plane. I have no, with a conventional workbench, I have nothing to hold it up at this end. So this allows me to use this clamp. This, uh, surface clamp, lock it in place. Actually. Oh, this, uh, the board bears on the actual surface of the, uh, and it's rock solid, so that, that's, a, that's an added functionality of this uh, sliding plug-in board. Clamp. I can use, of course, you can do panel work as wide as, here's another example. A taller board, like if I were doing this, I'll just give you an example of why a board jack is so important. But if I were trying to hand plane the edge of this without a board jack, you can see that problem. If I if I need to sit on the surface of the workbench, it's way too high to be able to hand plane. So this this allows me to drop it and attach one end to the face vise and, and to the board jack. It's rock solid. The load, uh, the stress on this is vertical, so I've allowed for that. So it locks in and the load's vertical, so it doesn't, it's sufficiently strong to hold any, any weight of wood and 
much stronger than any pressure you would uh, use for, for hand plane. I'm not going to hand plane now because I, I need this board. So I'm very happy with the uh, design. It took me a while to come up with it and, and uh, you now this comes out here. It took me a while to come up with this, but but it's worked out at the end. It's a very, very strong connection here with some uh, some dowels on edge. So, so that's that. That's another version of it that works. And uh, that's about it.